crispy coil. You know what time it is. Philly. <laughs> anyway, first pickup. We're going to take a little walk here. A little, little strut. Uh, check out this chick, Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman's chilling. She's got her little gun, little gat, pack of smokes, red apple joints. And it uh, looks like she's reading a magazine. This is usually how I'm chilling. This is how you can find crispy. Gat, smoke, mag, even though I don't really be smoking anymore. Anyway, this movie was not 10 cents. That's like false advertising. Um, Pulp Fiction, though, man, great movie. The list of people that are in this, Travolta, Samuel L., Harvey Keitel. I mean, this movie is just all that. Look at these two right here. You know what I mean? That's me right there, chilling. Anyway, Pulp Fiction, guys, Blu-ray just came out. You can get a Best Buy for like 15 bucks. No, he didn't. You guys are saying to yourselves, Crispy, no, you did not. Just pull out another pair of New Balance. Yes, I did. All right, dude, this is how we get down. Guys, lately, uh, I'm not going to get into this rant, uh, anti-establishment, uh, because I love Nike. Like, I'm a Nike dude. Like, you guys know. I mean, I, I spend most of my checks on Nike. Like, and Jordan brand, uh, same thing. I mean, you can you can go around the crib and know that, I, you know, I fucks with Nike. Um, this is a new spot right here. As you can see, you got the navy blue box. The Oreos are gone. Thanks to, to the person that bought them. I'm not going to uh, blow you up, uh, but uh, you got a good deal, man. Anybody else needs kicks? Holler at me. We can work something out. You want to buy two pairs, three pairs, you know what I mean? We can do it cheap. I ship out next day, double box, no BS. Tracking numbers and all that. You know what I mean? The boys in brown come straight to the crib. You know what I mean? The dude that delivers around here, his name's Mark. Mark, if you're watching this, it's crispy. You know what it is. Anyway, getting into this newbie. As you can see, this is made in England. Big shout out. Mighty Car. My boy, the Game 59. You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's get it. Alright. Let's get this. As you can see, we got the chicken again. I already had a little rant on this chicken. I don't know what this is all about. I'm used to buying, like, J Japanese sneakers. These England sneakers are a little bit different for coil. You know what I'm saying? New Balance name originates from humble surroundings of a chicken yard. <laughs> In 1906, co-founder Bill Riley. Bill Riley observed the perfect balance of a chicken's three claws and used it as an inspiration when designing his supports, the arch, believing they could deliver new balance to his customers. All right, so create new balance, cut out these little shoes, and put them on the chicken, it says. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to do that, but, and they got this real nice soft tissue paper. Um, the box is like real detailed, guys. You know what I'm saying? It's like all this writing here. Queen's Award, you know what I mean? I don't know what that means. But, uh, oh my God, guys, this is a 1300. This is not the 574 to 576. I know it looks like it, but this is the souped up John, like the, the real good one. Um, high quality. You see the, the British flag right there? Made in England. All right. Let's get into these dips. Just got these in the mail. As you can see right here, kind of looks like a chicken foot. You know what I'm saying? That's the support inside the shoe. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's get into the shoes, guys. As you can see, you got this, like, uh, real nice laces, man. I mean, they, they do their thing on these new balances, I'm telling you. They come unlaced. Um, you got the, the, the lime green new balance on the insole. And this material for the ankle is, like, the softest leather. Like, it's so nice, man. Um, as you can see, I laced up these boys right here. I did lace up these joints. You know what I'm saying? You got this little thing right here. It says Made in England. It has a little picture of a New Balance. And on the other side it says, The more a brand shouts, the less you listen. Quality treading our own alternative path since 1906. This pair was made by skilled craftsmen at the Cumbrian factory in northwest England. Using the 
premium and freshest ingredients available. Ingredients, yo. So, what do you think, guys? You got the end cap midsole, and this white part underneath is a different material than this. So, uh, you got the cup right here for the heel. This is a really soft, it's like a brown uh, nubuck. You got a gray looking mesh. Um, I love 1300s, it's one of my favorite shoes ever made. You know what I mean? I saw these, I just could not resist. Um, I'm, I'm getting on my new balance. As you can see, this is from one of my uh, later, my last videos. This says 1300 MBL, this is 1300 BRE. So if you look, got these from the same place, got the same receipt. This is just a different color. Which one do you like better? You got the, uh, looks like a, a, a brown type gray with the, the lime green joint. Or the navy blue with the, the purple. You know what I'm saying? So, either or, you know what I mean? So that's the two, uh, I mean, that's the one sneaker pickup for this video. We're going to put them over there for a sec. Now this pickup, I've never bought anything from this brand before. Figured I would try it. I needed uh, a jacket. I want a Letterman jacket. I want the Destroyer jacket. Uh, big shout out to Sam Colt. He got it. It's $450, and I just didn't have that to spend on a coat right now. I'm trying to save up for a new car. But I did find a... Uh, a second little like condolence prize here. Crooks and Castles. As you can see. This is uh you can see like the Medusa type figure they got. Leather tips on the pockets, leather outline. It's all black wool right here. And the sleeves are genuine leather. You can smell them right now. It says right here on the, it looks like it says, the ruling elite. Um, it has like a gray, black striped, uh, ribbed, you know what I mean, at the bottom of the collar. I mean the bottom of the sleeves and the bottom of the coat. Crooks and Castles buttons, it also has a zipper. Um, on the inside, I'm, like, I'm not going to be able to open it up, but... It's got crazy pockets. It's got like these wool cell phone pockets. It's got another Velcro pocket. It's got two zipper pockets. It's got like hidden stash compartments. As you can see, this right here is actually like a piece of uh, bandana like stitched in. And on the back, you see crooks and castles. And right here it says honor amongst thieves. It has like the, the Letterman jacket material right here. It's like the fur. The castle with the, the chain link C with the two guns. So it's just a jacket, guys. I always show you the whatever I cop, you know what I mean? Not everything, but I show you things that I really like. Um, but uh, never bought anything in Crooks and Castles before. I don't know much about their brand, but I saw this and I liked it. I buy what I like, and that's the bottom line. All right, guys, it's Crispy Coil, also known as. Uh, Francis the Praying Mantis, also known as, uh, you know, I got all kinds of nicknames, but shout outs, man, everybody doing their thing out there in the sneaker world. What shoes are you picking up? I know that soon coming out, we got the, the Concords. I was almost just tempted to, to pre-order a pair and pay a gang of money, because I really don't feel like going out in that madness, but uh, I decided that I'm going to have to, man, I'm not spending all that money there. They're making enough money, and what do you guys think about, yo, did you see the prices for the shoes coming out next year? Are you serious? $190 for Jordans, $180, $200, the 12s, $189.99, something like that. The 4s are like $175, like, prices are going through the roof for Jordans in 2012, and I'm really not feeling it. So after this last shot, Black Cement, Concord phase, I might... I might just switch it up to straight up, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I'm still going to buy my Air Maxes. I'm, I'm probably picking a pair up today, actually, I saw. Uh, the Vac Tech pack, um, it's like a Halloween color. It's all like black wool. Anyway, Air Max 90s. But um, other than that, guys, I'm still going to be buying New Balances. Uh, you know, I love my 1300s.
probably one of my favorite non, my definite favorite non Nike shoe. But Jordan brand guys, man, are falling off. Quality's going, <laughs> price is going. <laughs> I think Tinker Hatfield uh has been hitting hitting the pipe or something like that. I don't know what really happened, but um Tinker, if you're watching this, man, what's up? Talk to me, dog. You know what I mean? What's going on with the price? But anyway, I hydro seven one eight I. Great videos, man. Love dudes' videos. Uh, straight up, dude. Always got you know really good insight and everything like that. Cool videos. Um, who else? The game fifty nine. I already shouted him out, but definitely good dude. Plenty kicks. Uh, birds and drones. Um, Mighty Kyle, my man from across the water. Also a really good dude, man. Crazy pickups. Um, uh, Blue Cheese, Dallas Penn, awesome dude, man, really good person, always gets back to you when you comment, even when you're a little dude like me, uh, my man System Psycho, brother from another dude who got me really put on in this, uh, got me my first couple subs, wouldn't be really doing much without, without dude, uh, definitely influenced me in doing, uh, videos and stuff like that, um, you know what I mean, but uh, I just want to say shout out to all those people. If I forgot anybody, I didn't mean to forget you. Um, go check out Success Clothing. It's Mr. Nike ESP's T-shirts. I'm picking up mine. He's got a really nice new design. It's uh, it looks like a Nike swoosh, um, and uh, he's a down to earth dude, man. And he and he's trying to do something on his own. And uh, you know what I mean. I give him credit for that because uh, we would all like to have T-shirts, but dude actually went and did it. So. My camera's about to die, like I talk about every week, right here. See that little battery? Well, you can't see it, but I can. And the red part is, like, right there. And I'm not feeling that at all. So, like, uh, I'm going to talk to my cam. Yo, <laughs> why why do you suck so hard? Once again, I need a new camera. So, this is Crispy, New Balance, Crooks and Castles. I only got a couple pickups for this video. And also Pulp Fiction. Pick it up. So, um, until next time, same YouTube time, same YouTube channel. 215th, Illadel. You know what I'm saying? I'm always down for whatever. Any of you guys got any questions, I try to get back to everybody. I'm a really down-to-earth dude. It's your boy, Michael Crispy. Yeah. All right, y'all. Crispy. Philly. Two fingers. And by the way, this is my new little John I got for the camera. It's the wide-angle lens. Tell me what you think. Does it look better? I think it does. You know what I'm saying? So you can see shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think. Anyway. Irish Coil Crispy. Peace out.